Hi everyone, Arturo Spricasso here. Today we're going to be using Orlike paint. This paint works great with the Spricasso style of painting. And what we're going to be painting today is a skateboard. We've actually had quite a few requests. As you can tell, here's the skateboard. We went ahead and took off the wheels. See? Put some, some tape. This is just uh, painter's tape or masking tape. Put it around the rim. That way if you paint, on this side it won't drip onto the black rough surface. Um, this, this actually this skateboard had uh, some logos, some designs on it. So if that's the case guys, make sure it's gloss white. You're gonna have to do several layers as we did here. We did about four, maybe five layers of spray paint on this board. And it has to be gloss so it's real smooth until you completely cover the bottom part. Make sure you let it dry. It's gonna take, I don't know, it took maybe about an hour to completely, completely dry since we did so many layers. And see it's dry to the touch. So this is gonna be our, our canvas. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. Let's go ahead and place some stencils. Maybe some like this. I'm gonna do three stencils. Let's begin with these two. All right, so first thing, is once you have your stencils down, you're gonna wanna do a light coat of black so you know where your stencils are located at. See? So you don't have to spray paint the whole thing. I'm gonna begin with maybe, do this some red. Here on the bottom like so and some yellow right on top of that just like that great just back and forth back and forth back and forth see and gently the red will disappear into the yellow just like that awesome some orange right here some red on top of that this Picasso tool we're gonna go in and just kinda create a mountainous terrain maybe some some pipes in the background on to our next planet. Our next planet, I believe I'm gonna make also a red tone. So I'm gonna add some red as our bottom primary color. And some brown on top of that as our neutral. And darker color on top. Now you guys remember this technique, very easy. You can either tap it or remove, or in this case, you fold the magazine sheet in half like a U, just like that, you don't need that big of a piece, and just kind of mix the two colors together, kind of like you would with water, right, and just back and forth, see that, it's a very unique texture, huh, all right, we can cover this planet so that whenever we add a shadow to this planet, it won't accidentally have any drops or anything on, on the sun back here that we're going to make. So, since the sun is here, you want the light source coming from here. So, everything else has to be shadowed on the opposite side. See that? Right on top of it, make sure you get some of the black. That's your shadow, so it's very important. And just drop it. You don't have to push down. Just kind of drop it on top of there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some white back here, just like that, just to cover this space back here. Now, I do white because white is a neutral color, and it works great as a prime, so you can put other colors on top of it and it won't create 
you know, the bubbling or the action that starts to crack. So black and white, gloss white and gloss black work really well. So now I can put three more paints on top of this white. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some orange back here, just like so. And then I'm going to surround it with red. Yeah, just like so. You guys following me so far? Okay. Let's not forget that we have another planet. Back so here. I'm gonna add some blue, just like so, and some white on top of it. Now, guys, I do want to point out that Orlac has been working with me on getting these paints to work, uh, specifically with the Spray Castles technique of painting. So you'll see if you guys give them a try, but these paints work extremely well. This planet is still an Earth-like, it's still a planet, so it has to have shadow, guys. The light's coming from here, so the shadow has to be up here somewhere, something like that. Right? Remember, when you put the stencil on it, get some of the black. I'm just gonna now drop on it on this top. part, so you know it's not completely blank with dead space. We're gonna add some blue, just like so. A little bit of red and some green. Just like so. Now then, with black, we're gonna create this into a nebula. And the trick on doing that is not to cover the entire thing black but to leave see that like a little streak of color blue and it's gonna be a pretty thick coat guys Something like that it's a thick coat so and some white on top of it okay remove magazine sheet off a piece, fold it like a U, and let's create some waves. Very simple. Just mix the paint underneath, back and forth. Yeah. Very gently. We're gonna add a cascade like effect. See that? So, plenty of blue. Plenty of white on top. Now, see, this is the holes where the tire goes, so I'm not too concerned about putting too much paint there. So, what I'm gonna do, cascades are real easy, guys. Once you mix the paints, you just kinda very gently mix the paints, do it downwards to get that effect. This water is going to be a little bit different from this one up here. It's going to be calmer, so it's going to have more of a reflection. Again, we're going to mimic the colors that we see up there. So, I also see some orange around the yellow. See that? Okay, now the red. I'm going to spray the red all the way around. You want to spray some white right here on your on your little waterfalls, just like so. See that? Go ahead and added some stars. You guys know how to do that. There you go, guys. This technique also works well with stencils. Pretty much anything you can imagine, you can put on here. Go to my website, take a look at some of my uh, online portfolio uh, scans that I have on them. Uh, you can definitely put them on here. Alright, well I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.